and welcome to a game that really should have pulses racing. Please Every reason to believe this will be enthralling. I'm Derek Ray, joined here on the commentary box as always by Lee Dixon, and we're ready to bring you live coverage of this League One fixture. It's Burton Albion, and they face Northampton Town. Well, thank you, Derek. The excitement at the start of any game is almost tangible. Looking forward to this one. The crowd are up for it. The players look like they're going to have a really good go at this game. Can't wait. This is how it looks for the home side. Would you call it 4-5-1, Lee? Yeah, I really like this formation, Derek. 4-2-3-1, really. The two central midfield players supplying support to a three ahead of them and then a lone striker with a number 10 just behind him. This is how the visitors will set up today. Looks as though they're going with the belt and braces approach. Yeah, 5-3-2 or 3-5-2. The midfield will be flooded when they've got the ball. Defensively, those fullbacks will be asked to supply support to their three centre-backs. But it does enable you to play two strikers up front. Thank you. Enjoy the game. And now they get the ball rolling. Well, you know, most teams have a preferred way of playing. The visitors do like to press high. They try to force errors. Lee, do you anticipate seeing that from them in this game? Yeah, I do, Derek. I really do. It's a brave way of playing, though, away from home. It just shows the confidence the coach has in this group of players. Oh, lovely incisive pass. Big opportunity. Can't miss, surely. In it goes. An early goal. No wonder they're celebrating. Well, here's the replay. He's done really well to get his head up and pick out a teammate. And then the composure is impressive as he smashes the ball with all he has to beat a forlorn goalkeeper. Brilliant strike. So the match has restarted. 1-0 here. And he takes it away. The attack continues, they're making considerable progress. Deciding to go inside. And a goal! The quick one too! And they've turned this game on its head! Well, in this replay, you're going to see a 2v1 against the keeper. How does that happen? He'll be asking his defence why he was left exposed. Nothing he could do. So, 2-0 now. Well, he's going to be disappointed with that pass. This might be ideal for the counter. Oh, big chance! Surely! And the goalkeeper covered a lot of ground to push that away from danger. Absolutely nothing wrong with the counter attack. Just a shame about the finish, Lee. Well, it just show you what they're capable of to hit the team with pace and power. It just lacked a little bit of composure, Derek.
Well, we can say it officially now. We'll be watching the champions today. What a terrific position to be in, Lee. Oh, it's brilliant. I remember back in 98, we won it with two to go and then got smashed by Liverpool 4-0 at Anfield. Safe to say we weren't on our best that night, Derek. And news coming through of a goal on the Peterborough game. Alan McAnally can tell us more. It's a goal for Peterborough United. 24 minutes played, 1-1. Thanks, Alan. Well, that's a moment he would like to airbrush from history. He's thrown it straight to the opposition. Firing it in. Simple save, really. The hosts have had the lion's share of possession. And what that does, it just relaxes the team. If you've got the ball, you enjoy the ball. And they're turning it into goals as well. Could reduce the deficit. Oh, that's textbook goalkeeping. Well, he's given a corner, the referee. I believe there's been a goal in the Peterborough match. Alan McAvally with the details. It's a second goal for Ipswich Town. 30 minutes played, 2-1. Regular updates from Alan McAvally along the way. An inability to keep hold of the ball there. Rose. Wonderful tackle. It's opening up for them. Well, they're going to be very cross with themselves because that was a wasted opportunity. And I think it's fair to say that he's had happier days in front of goal, Lee. Well, if they are going to get back into this game, he needs to up his work rate, his endeavour, his creativity, his shots at goal, the full works. Well, no accuracy at all in terms of the shot unleashed. Well, it's the care and attention, all that work to get in the position and then way, way wide. He's in with a chance. And a goal to increase their advantage to three. Can they be stopped? Well, let's see that again. Oh, it's so sweetly hit. Look at his technique. Absolutely brilliant. He's got the power, he's got the accuracy, and now he's got himself a goal. Well, you've got to say, an incredible first-half performance. That scoreline tells you all you need to know. And the electronic board delivers the news. Two minutes of stoppage time. Not to be advised giving the ball away in that position. And the managers will now deliver their half-time team talks. We're at the end of 45... And so the second half commences here. And it was one-way traffic in the first half. They're going to need all their time if they have designs on a comeback. And unable to keep possession. Couldn't hang on to it. Dangerous looking attack. He'll be delighted to have won the ball having made that difficult challenge. 
I think most fans would be pretty happy with this man's display so far. Well, I've got a word for that first half performance. Spectacular. He was absolutely brilliant. He's got his two goals. Let's see what he's got to offer in the second half. In the right place to cut out the pass. What can he do from here? And he's only gone and made it a hat-trick! Absolutely unplayable today! What a performance! Well, having scored two, he's going to get the hat-trick at some point, you feel. He's just so full of confidence, never looked like missing. A chance to revisit the goal. Well, there's nothing better for a manager when a plan comes together. Total satisfaction. Substitution then. Let's see how it affects the match. Well, we're underway again, and this game was finished as a contest a long time ago. Half an hour remaining then. Adams. They've regained possession. Well, keeping hold of the ball is what it's all about for them. possibilities an attack full of promise can he do it a really top-notch piece of defending Watson delightful pass well he's got plenty of space on the flank here and crossed in the direction of the back post and a goal here Accuracy with the header, just what they needed. Number 29, Danny Rose. Well, not too much defending going on in the grand scheme of things. 4-1. Well, he just let his opponent glide by. And he's broken free. What a poor ball giving possession back to the opposition. Smith. The referee correctly decided to play advantage. Hoskins, and space to attack. And the cross is very much on. So following the deflection, a corner kick coming up here. Played into the centre of the box. Still not clear. Serious miscue in terms of the strike. Easy for the keeper. No, he won't have an easier shot to save today. That was really awful finishing from the attacker. I believe there's been a goal in the Peterborough match. Alan McAnally with the details. It's a second goal for Peterborough United. Seven minutes remain. 3-2. Many thanks, Alan. In position... Alas, a wild, wild attempt. Well, after that effort, I'm not sure whether he's right or left-footed. Time for a change, then. Inside the final two minutes of this contest. 
chances on. 